In this example, we're going to copy the function we just wrote, but use loops instead of vectorization. The problem is identical with the exception of the function name now being future worth underscore loop instead of future worth underscore vectorized. Here's the new flowchart. It's clearly more complex than the vectorized code's flowchart, but that should make sense because loops are inherently more complex than vectorization. Okay, we're back in MATLAB where we left off. Let's open another new function. We can copy and paste the function definition from the previous one. Remember to change the function name from underscore vectorized to underscore loop. Like last time, I'll copy and paste some documentation. It's similar to the last function's documentation with some slightly different verbiage to reflect the slightly different function we're building. And once again, let's save the file before we move on. MATLAB will automatically save this code as future worth underscore loop. Don't change the file name. And let's start the function by defining nn like we did in the first one. Since we're using a for loop, we should pre-allocate our f vector beforehand for efficiency. This is done by making a vector of zeros in our desired vector size. In this case, the size of our f vector will just be the same size as our nn vector. This is the easiest way. You can also use the zeros command, which I'll link in the video description. Now we can write the for loop. We want to loop through every element in the f array and replace each zero with the proper value. Here, we're using k as our loop counter variable. k starts at 1, will increment in 1, all the way up to the length of our nn vector. We are calculating each individual f using the formula. p and i are always the same, but nn has different values, which is why we are indexing the nn with k. Finally, we need to plot if plot status equals 1, so I'll copy and paste that from the other function. Remember to change the title from vectorize to loop. And that's it for this one. In the next video, we'll use these two functions together in an orchestrating script file to perform a parameter study.